Stampers, Kelly Atchison at stampabove.com coming to you from Menasha, Wisconsin, and I have another gorgeous card to show you using the Oh So Eclectic stamp set. I am so excited about this stamp set. There's just something about it that I absolutely love, and maybe it's the eclectic look because I feel like that's what my brain is like most of the time. Eclectic. So I had to look up the word eclectic because like, how many of you really know what that means? I, I kind of know what it means, but I couldn't tell you a definition of it. So, eclectic is a person who derives ideas, style, or taste from a broad and diverse range of sources. There's your knowledge for the day, right? <laughs> I always thought eclectic was kind of a little scattered, and I feel like I'm a lot scattered a lot of the time. So anyways, let's move beyond my shortcomings. Um, this card is another super simple card where I'm using the beautiful Naturally Eclectic Designer Series paper in combination with some stamps in the stamp set. And don't you love this crinkled ribbon? I had some people say that, oh my gosh, they just wanted to get their iron out. But being um, a little scattered, I love it. I, it's perfect. It matches my personality. So let's get started and I'll show you how I made this. We are using the Oh So Eclectic stamp set and the Eclectic Layers thinlets. And these are a great set of thinlets. You've got a thinlet that'll cut out the leaf. We've got this gem here. Um, here's the outline for the gem. Some little flower things, some more little leafy things. Um, you've got this style of flower with some detail that goes with it. And this particular image, which I love. This just makes me happy all over. So let me show you the cardstock layers we need. I have a card base that is four and a quarter by 11, and this is scored at five and a half. And then I've got a piece of our Naturally Eclectic Designer Series paper. And I have been having a blast with this paper, but this is the sheet that I'm using, and this is what the back looks like. Isn't that pretty, too? There's a ton of really fun patterns in here. There's another one of my favorites, and these polka dots, and oh my gosh, you guys, it is. It's just, here's some cute gems. It's just gorgeous, gorgeous paper. You're gonna see a lot more coming from me with this paper because I love bright and colorful. So this is back to back to our project. <laughs> this is four by five and a quarter. And then I've got a piece of Whisper White here. This is four and a half by three and a quarter. Another piece of Whisper White for the inside, four by five and a quarter. This is just a scrap. And then I've got an envelope that we're gonna stamp up also. Okay, I'm gonna bring my piercing mat in here because I like to use that when I'm stamping. Now the first thing I'm going to do is I am going to die cut these triangle images and I'm going to place that right about here on my layer. So I'm going to put this through the big shot and I'll be right back. Okay, here we go. I've got my big shot die brush here. And this is kind of a handy little thing to keep this in a box like this because you can just keep all your little bits and pieces in here and you keep them contained so you're not making a big mess all over. And did you see how easy that popped out of there? I love this. Love this die. I love it when they do that. Okay, here's the layer that we want to use. And I've got the Oh Hello Friend. I'm going to use Memento Black ink, and I'm going to stamp that right down here. The next thing, oh my gosh, I've got black on my hands. Don't you hate it when that happens? Okay, but it's okay. We're going to cover that up with flowers. Doggone it. Just hate it when that happens. I know what happens to everybody, but still. We're going to take our scraps here. I'm using Berry Burst for my flowers and Night of Navy. And the center is Peekaboo Peach. 
So we'll start with our Berry Burst flower. And I just love, love, love this flower image. It is so pretty. Next, we're going to go with Night of Navy. And again, I am using my stamp and scrub here and my stamp and mist to clean my stamps off. Then we've got this little center with all the little polka dots. And I'm going to stamp that twice just to kind of fill it in good and it covers up my mistakes. <laughs> what? Kelly makes mistakes? Yeah, you bet your buns I do. Okay, so here we go. And here's the framelit that matches this. And I'm just going to set it right on each one of these flowers and I'm going to cut these out in the big shot. So I'll be right back again. And here we go. Here's our beautiful flower. So are we ready to put our card together? Because we're almost there. I'm going to take the inside and I want to put a flower here too. Let's do that. And then as long as we've got our ink out here, let's stamp up our envelope, right? Why not? We'll give it a little center here. This is just how easy this card is to make because the stamp set is so amazing. Okay, I'm going to move my inks back before I, you know, have a disaster. You know how I do with that. Here we go. Add some glue to the back of this layer. Oh, we might want to put it on our card the right way. What do you think? <laughs> Have you ever put a card together upside down or backwards and opened wrong or whatever and you got all finished with it and that's when you realized? Yeah, I've been there, done that too. And that's when you send it to one of your fun friends that as soon as they open it, they're going to laugh their butts off. That's what I like. I'm going to use this little crosshatch leaf in the lemon lime twist and add some greenery to my card front. And here we go with these two flowers. Did anybody see my dimensionals? Oh, I found them, don't worry. You guys knew I was gonna find them, right? Okay, dimensional on each one of my flowers. Don't forget to stick your fingernail in the middle of these. They'll come off easier. And I am going to do my blue flower over here. Remember, we're going to cover up that smudge of black that I did. And then this one is going to go right here. And we're also going to raise this whole layer up with dimensionals because that just gives your card such interest. I love dimensionals. Dimensionals are your friend. Okay, are we ready? This card's coming together. Let's see if I can get it on here straight. I did, and then, last but not least, this crinkle ribbon is the bomb. I absolutely love it. I'm gonna tie this in a bow. And you can really manipulate this ribbon too, which is something that I love because it's really, really thin and delicate. So I'm going to manipulate it to exactly what I want it to be. Get out my big scissors. And then one thing I did to the ends of my ribbon is I folded them in half and then I cut a divot into the center so they do this. Just something different, just a little, a little something different for this card. I'm gonna do the same thing here. And a mini glue dot is all that's between me and the finalization of this card. I'm going to put that right. Okay, there's our ribbon. And all we need to do is put the inside in. And this is an all occasion card, so I can write whatever I'd like to on the inside of this one. Isn't this just beautiful? I love Love it. Super easy. Again, a super easy card for you. If you don't have a Stampin' Up! demonstrator, I'd love to earn your business. You can pop me an email at kelly at a stampabove.com and I'd be happy to send you our current catalog. 
Also hop on over to my blog. I have a lot of great projects on there. www.astampabove.com And there's another video on there today using this exact same bundle with another card. So make sure you check that out. And if you need any stamp and supplies, again, you can head on over to my blog. The product list will be there, everything I use. And you can just click on any one of the products. It'll take you right to my Stampin' Up! store. And I do appreciate your orders. So add a little sparkle to someone's day. Send them a card.